This year, we're hearing a lot about government efficiency. To follow the debate, it helps to have data and facts. Don't hit that skip button. This stuff matters. I'm Steve Ballmer, a data nerd who founded USA Facts, and here's a quick take on a hot topic. But first, a quick disclaimer. As I talk, I do a lot of rounding of numbers, but the data you see on screen will be more exact. So now, let's roll. I've been very lucky in life, lucky enough to own a professional basketball team. Each player has a role, and that's just like the federal government. Each agency has a role and a budget. If you want to make government more efficient, you've got to know the data. Let's look at the spending by government agency. In 2024, four federal agencies accounted for more than 80% of government spending. Health and Human Services, or HHS, 25%. The Social Security Administration, 22%. The Treasury Department, 19%. And the Department of Defense, 13%. Digging a little deeper, HHS spends $1.7 trillion, 25% of the total budget. That includes $874 billion on Medicare, $618 billion on Medicaid, and $19 billion for CHIP, which is a child health care program. It also includes $48 billion for the National Institute of Health, takes $12 billion to run the Center for Disease Control, and $4 billion to run the FDA. The Social Security Administration is next, accounting for 22% of spending, $1.5 trillion in 2024. $1.3 trillion of that is for old age and survivor's benefits, and $155 billion of that is for disability. Next up is the Treasury, which might surprise some, spending 19% of the total budget accounting for $1.3 trillion. The big expense is paying the interest on America's $36 trillion in debt. The Treasury, and specifically the IRS, also paid out almost $200 billion in 2024 in tax credits for things like healthcare premiums, earned income tax credit, and the child tax credit. The Department of Defense spent over $900 billion 13% of the budget, including its military work, but also civil work like the Army Corps of Engineers. The next three biggest agencies are in the news a lot, but relatively smaller by comparison. The Department of Veteran Affairs, 5% of the budget, $325 billion. 62% goes to benefit programs like compensation and pensions. 31% is for medical services through the VA hospital system. The Department of Education is 4% of the budget, $268 billion, 60% of which is for the Office of Federal Student Aid, which includes Pell Grants, student loans, and the cost of the personnel that run that office. And 31% is for elementary and secondary education programs. Next is the Department of Agriculture. 3% of the budget, $203 billion. 73% of its budget is for food and nutrition programs, including SNAP, that is food stamps, WIC, and other child nutrition programs like school lunches. Here's a list of other agencies, none of which make up more than 2% of the budget. Now, small cuts, or small increases in some of these agencies can add up. But for big dollars, it's these big agencies that Americans pay for. So if you want to cut trillions out of our $6.8 trillion budget, we've got some tough choices to make. As the government efficiency debate unfolds, let's make sure to stay up to date. Subscribe to the USA Facts YouTube channel and to our free newsletter. And please share this video with your family, your friends, your children, your co-workers. Spread the facts and data. The more we know, the stronger our democracy.